well, a couple's making headlines this morning after they missed a wedding and got a bill. The bride and groom sent them an invoice for $75, telling them they needed to pay for the meals they didn't eat. Now, Jessica Baker says she and her husband had planned to attend her cousin's wedding, but then their babysitter canceled at the last minute. Since the wedding and reception invitation specifically said no kids were allowed, the couple didn't go. Jessica said 12 years ago she also had no shows at her wedding, but she never thought of billing anyone. She posted the bill on Facebook and got a lot of responses. One of the best Facebook answers that I got was from a gentleman who suggested that um, we write a check in that amount to a charity and then send the bride and groom um, the receipt. Now, a Minnesota television station followed up with the groom. He says this was never about money, but the bride was hurt when some of her relatives didn't show up. Uh, the groom says they now realize this was sort of a tacky th thing to do. Uh, it, it was their cousin. It was, it, was, it was their cousin that did it, too, which kind of, I don't know, that makes for awkward Thanksgiving meals, I mean, you I guess. don't understand people can't get a babysitter. That's pretty, that's pretty bridezilla. Well, and honestly, you. I'm sorry. Reg almost regardless. Yeah. You, you don't, don't do that. You yeah. don't. You, you don't do that, do right. you? Yeah, I no. Mean, yeah. No. That's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. Oh man. Yeah. That's gonna make holidays a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah. You, you invite them to a party and yeah, here's your seventy-five dollars. Now here's what I'd be interested in knowing: Did they send a gift? Oh. You know. Oh. Well. Because. Because they, they should send a gift. They should send them a bill. They should send a gift if they RSVP'd, right? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah. I just I'm wonder if they that. sent a gift. That kind of. You that would be like that. if the that would be like if the couple, <laughs> the bride and groom, you know, would uh, unfortunately split up, asking for the gift back. <laughs> like, listen, I got you guys a toaster. <laughs> right, I want that toaster. I would back. like that toaster back, please. <laughs> you can't do that either, Bob. No. I kind of I kind of saw that happen once. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait that later. Yeah, we'll John, wait for we commercial break. Yeah. John's got a lot of break. wedding stories. Yeah. Actually, more on that for us in the break. <laughs> yeah. uh,